Chapter 4, Power Projection Tactics in Human Society Man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he is both the marble and the sculptor. Alex Carroll, Reference 72 Chapter 4.1, Introduction So long as there are men, there will be wars. Albert Einstein, Reference 73 Organisms fight and kill each other for their resources. This struggle is real and directly observable. But when evaluating human behavior, there are clear differences between the way sapiens behave and the way other organisms behave, particularly in the way the, they fight and kill each other for resources. Behaviorally modern sapiens are unique in the animal kingdom in that they fight and kill each other not just for resources, but also for what they choose to believe in. They use their powerful brains to think abstractly, adopt belief systems that other organisms are physiologically incapable of perceiving, and then they physically compete over those belief systems at unrivaled scale. That is us. That is humans. We're getting into the real meat and potatoes of this. Ironically, amongst the most commonly adopted belief systems over which humans routinely fight and kill each other is the belief that people shouldn't have to fight for their resources, that sapiens and sapiens alone have natural rights to their lives, liberties, and properties which other animals don't have, and that humans are special exemptions to primordial phenomena like predation, entropy, and the existential necessity to establish dominance hierarchies. It is not uncommon for modern humans to believe that the creator of life itself has placed them on a special pedestal above all other life forms on earth so that they don't have to struggle the same as the rest of the life forms beneath them to settle their intraspecies property disputes, establish control authority over intraspecies resources, and determine the legitimate state of ownership and chain of custody of their property. In this chapter, the author will break down concepts around human power projection and conflict to their core and offer some explanations for why humans behave the way they do, particularly how and why modern human societies are routinely compelled to fight and kill each other over their resources and belief systems. This will build conceptual insight about why humans fight wars, which will develop the conceptual foundation for why Bitcoin might be used not as a monetary technology, but as a soft, aka non-kinetic, warfighting technology that physically empowers people to physically fight and physically compete for their resources and for what they choose to believe in, but in a non-lethal way that doesn't physically harm others. Now that we have a foundational understanding about how and why organisms use physical power to settle intraspecies disputes and establish dominance hierarchies, we turn our attention to human beings. One of the remarkable things that make be behavior behaviorally modern sapiens One of the remarkable things that make behaviorally modern sapien, sapiens stand out in nature is that they deliberately try not to use physical power as the basis for settling their disputes and establishing their pecking order. Instead, they use their imaginations to conceive of abstract sources of power, and then they attempt to use these abstract sources of power to settle their disputes and establish their pecking order. These attempts often don't succeed, hence the phenomenon called warfare. As much as humans wish they could cheat nature and establish their dominance hierarchies using something which transcends physics, they have yet to transcend warfare. They still rely on physical power to enforce or defend abstract power. Human infighting may be the most physically destructive intraspecies competition on the planet. For some reason, no matter how much sapiens try not to use physical power to settle their disputes and establish their dominance hierarchies, they resort back to the same primordial behavior as practically every other species in nature. 
This chapter explains how and why humans attempt to use abstract sources of power to settle their dis intraspecies disputes, establish their dominance hierarchies, determine who has control authority over their resources, and achieve consensus on the legitimate state and chain of custody of their property. To do this, the author begins by guiding the reader through a deep dive in human metacognition and abstract thinking. Once a baseline understanding in human metacognition has been established, the author explores the differences between abstract and physical power, how abstract-based power dominance hierarchies work in comparison to the physical power-based resource control structures discussed in the previous chapters, and explores why they break down and lead humans repeatedly back to war. The purpose of this chapter is to establish a thorough understanding of the root causes of warfare in order to develop the why behind emergent power projection technologies like Bitcoin that the author asserts could theoretically serve as an extension of warfare for human society as it enters the digital age. But before introducing the concept of soft war and entering into a discussion about the socio technical and national strategic security implications of Bitcoin as a war fighting protocol rather than strictly a monetary protocol, it's necessary to understand how and why wars break out in the first place. Warfare is difficult and trans scientific topic that is emotionally and politically charged is up. It's impossible to really know how and why wars break out, but the author provides some explanations for why they do based off concepts which emerged from data coding. The point of this discussion is to offer thorough conceptual insights into why humans can't seem to not fight wars. In other words, the reader should leave this chapter with an understanding for why society's peaceful alternatives to settle an intraspecies property disputes and establishing pecking order routinely break down and become dysfunctional, and why humans keep having to return to the primordial behavior of fighting and killing each other to establish decentralized, zero trust, and permissionless control over their valuable resources. Once the reader understands why humans keep resorting back to fighting and killing each other over resources like wild animals do, the author proceeds into a discussion about the dynamics of national strategic security. This leads to an exploration of how and why humans have scaled their physical power projection tactics to the point of mutually assured destruction and why situation and why this situation represents a major systemic security hazard. The chapter concludes with a discussion about how humans would benefit from their own version of antlers, which would allow them to settle their disputes and establish their pecking order using non-kinetic, thus non-lethal, physical power projection tactics, techniques, and technologies. Human behavior could be described as ironic, because their attempts to avoid intraspecies and fighting and transcend uncivilized physical power-based methods of resource control, they've become amongst the most physically destructive mammals on the planet. This chapter attempts to provide some explanations for why this destruction takes place, so that these concepts can be utilized later to explain the context about why people would be motivated to use Bitcoin as a war fighting technology and how Bitcoin could help people mitigate warfare's destructive efforts.